Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system that is hash page table in operating system. So in our previous session, we have seen what is the structure of page table and how many techniques we can use to structure the page table. So in that we have seen the three three types. So that is uh, hash it page table, inverted page table and hierarchical page table. So in our previous session, we have concentrated on hierarchical page table, how we can structure a page table. So in this session, without delay, let's start the second technique that is a hash it page table. So one major reason why we are uh, using these techniques to uh, structure a page table means so the page table will be having a lot of entries so we are supposed to store some 10 lakhs of entries in a single page table so that means that many contiguous memory locations should be needed and this page table will be residing in the main memory itself and that is a one drawback of uh, having the page table and the two we are using the multi -pro programming uh, so multiple processes can be executed uh, parallelly right so multiple programming means multiple processes will be there so multiple processes means the, each process will be having their own page tables so it will be difficult to maintain a uh, lacks of entries uh, in the main memory so that's why we are moving on with this these kind of uh, techniques so in this uh, technique we are using the name itself indicates here we are using some hash function so we have studied a lot of hash functions okay in data structures concept so division method folding method like that we have we have studied a lot of hash functions right so i'll post the link of these hash functions in the description so that you can uh, go through that one right so why we are using this hash function means it will it will give less accessing time so this is a one more uh, point we have to remember so we need to access the data very fast so access time should be less so within the less time we have to access it so obviously the complexity the complexity of using this hash function in order to retrieve the data will be always a constant so which is very efficient okay efficient so we are using such type of hash functions in order to map the logical address towards the primary address okay so let us see this we have we know how the logical address will be converted into a physical address so i am drawing the same diagram so here the cpu and here it will be uh, two parts one is a page number and another one is a displacement or offset we can also call it as offset so actually what happens means so this will be referencing the page table this will be referencing the page table so this is a base table and from this page table we'll be getting frame so frame number and a displacement so this the same displacement will be given here and this points towards a frame in the main memory this points towards the frame number in the main memory so this is a main memory okay right so this the same thing we have studied here right so now hashing means before getting the page reference we are using here hash table hash table okay instead of using the page table we are using the hash table so this page whatever the page we are having so this is a logical address okay this is a logical address and obviously this is a physical address right so hash table and all these are the hash values right how we are getting the hash value means so applying some hash functions on this page 
that means a page number okay so this page number will be given to some hash function okay so that it will give one hash value okay so it gives some hash value which ref which makes a reference in the hash table so hash table will be having all the hash hash values and from this hash value we will be getting a page i mean a frame number directly a frame number okay after applying some hash functions so those hash functions so division method so one method is a division method for example if if the page number is 125 so the division method 125 um, mod 10 which gives the value as a 5 so 5 is the hash value and it will be locating or it will be uh, pointing towards this value 5 in the hash table so this hash table will be having all the hash values so for example if it is a 5 so in this particular entry there will be a frame number so that frame number will be taken and that will be applied to the displacement so that we will be getting the physical address now see this is a one hash function division method so there are a lot of hash functions as i said that i will post the link so once again after some time i mean uh, if if it, there is a another page which is of 225 so applying 225 again we are getting the hash value 5 now what happens so here in such way we call it as a collision so already all all these things we have discussed in our hashing uh, hashing concept right so collision so whenever the hash function applies on a page which gives the same hash value so here the page number is 125 page number is 225 so applying the same division method that means the hash function on this page number which gives the same hash value so that that means it's a collision in such a way what happens means it creates a linked list so creates linked list linked list so what is it that linked list means see for example if it is pointing here so it will be having the three parts one is a page number another one is a frame number another one is a address address see i am writing here so the linked list node will be having one is a page number so which page we are getting and the corresponding frame number and the third one is a address of the next node address of the next node so address of next node means here we are having a two possible hash values i mean two possible uh, inputs which gives the same output so here in such case see for example here it will be linking towards a one more node with the same page number frame number and here it will be for example the address of this first one is thousand address of the next one is two thousand this two thousand value will be stored here okay two thousand value will be stored here for example so there is a one more uh, page with the 325 so 325 applying the hash function will get the value as 5 so again the third value i mean the third page also getting the same hash value so here one more uh, link will be added node will be added so page number frame number and this is a 3000 this 3000 will be linked here so the address of next node will be getting here okay so this way so what about the address of the last node if there is no link forwarded so then it will be null okay if there is no link and this node is a last node then obviously it will be a null so whenever the page comes here 125 so it will check whether uh, i mean if the hash function will be applied and it will be having 5 so it will be referencing towards the 5 in this hash table and it will be getting this particular linked list okay this particular linked list so in this linked list this page number you will be having 125 
and here it will be having 225 and here it will be having 325. So if you check whether the page number 125, 225 or 325, the corresponding frame will be added to the displacement to get the physical address, to get the physical address, okay. So I think arrow mark will be here in this way, okay. So this is the linked list concept. What I am saying is, this is a linked list. Why we are going with this linked list means, so if uh, one, if a multiple pages will be having the same hash value, producing the same hash value, then all the similar hash value page numbers and the frame numbers will be linked in a single place. That we call it as a linked list here. So obviously. So, if, if the page number is uh, some 123 and 223 and 323, so obviously the hash value will be 3 here if you apply the division method. So, in the third one, we will be having a 3 nodes, 3 nodes. So, each node will be having the page number, frame number as well as the address of the next node and if it is a last node, then the address will be 0, null, okay. So, by using this kind of hash functions in order to get the physical address, so the access time will be very fast, okay. So the logical address, the, the theme is same, the logical address will be the page number and the displacement and page number it goes with the page table and in the page table uh, will be having uh, the corresponding frame number and that will be added to the displacement for getting the physical address. But here instead of page table, we are using this hash table and some hash functions are applied on the page number so that we are getting some hash value and based upon that hash value, we are uh, linking up all the related frames here, okay. So this is called a hashed page table. This is a one more technique to structure the page table. So in our previous session, we have seen the hierarchical page table where the page table was divided into a lot of page tables. The outer page table will be having the addresses, base addresses of all other page tables. But here, the access time will be also very fast. So for large entries, for any large entries also, this, is, this will be suitable as well as in order to get the accessing fast, then also we are going to use this hashed page table. Right. So, uh, hope you understood this one and if you really enjoyed the session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.